In this example, I need to factor completely the trinomial 3x squared plus 19x plus 20. Well, what's the first thing we do with every single factoring problem? We look at the polynomial and decide, is there a common factor between all the terms? Well, in this case, there is not because not every term has an x in common. And with the numbers 3, 19 and 20, there's no numerical common factor either. So what I'm going to have to do in this case is compare it to ax squared plus bx plus c. a is the coefficient of the x squared term, so in this case it's a 3. b is the coefficient of the x, it's 19. c is the constant term of 20. Now I am going to factor this using the AC or grouping method. So I multiply A times C, that's 3 times 20. 3 times 20 is 60. And I need to find two numbers that multiply to AC, which is 60, and add to B, which is 19. Now, as the two numbers multiplied or positive, that says their signs have to be the same. And if they add to a positive, that same sign has to be a positive. So I'm looking for two positive numbers that multiply to 60 and add to 19. Hopefully those numbers come to you quickly, but I'm going to show you a systematic method that works if you get stuck finding the numbers. I start with 1 and 60. 1 times 60 is 60, but 1 plus 60 is 61, not the number I'm looking for. Does 2 divide into 60? Yes. So I have 2 times 30 is 60, but 2 plus 30 is 32. I'm going to put the video on pause while I complete the table. So the next numbers I tried was 3 times 20, that didn't work. Then I tried 4 times 15, but that one did work. So these are the two numbers I'm looking for. But be careful, these are not my factors. What I'm going to do is break my middle term of 19x down into two terms using 4 and 15. So I'm going to have 3x squared plus 4x plus 15x plus 20. All I did was replace the 19x with 4x plus 15x. The reason I did this is four terms now are in my polynomial. How do we factor four terms? By grouping. Looking at the first two, what do they have in common? Just an x. Factor an x out of a 3x squared, it leaves 3x plus. Factor an x out of a 4x, it's going to leave plus 4. Next, we bring down the middle sign of a plus. And now, what do the last two have in common? I think they have 5 as a common factor. Factor a 5 out of 15x, it leaves 3x, plus factor a 5 out of a 20, it leaves 4. Now, did factoring by grouping work? Is this binomial the same as this one? Yes, that's your common binomial factor that you factor in front. And if I factor these in front, it's going to leave me with x plus 5 in my second parentheses. So now I have factored this polynomial. And don't forget, how can you check every factoring problem? You can multiply out your result to see if you land up with the original expression.